What up, good people? And welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. It's your man Ahmad here telling you guys about some dope things in tech that I've either read about or encountered or just experienced this week, right? So today's episode is going to be about uh, my updated everyday carry bag. Uh, I think I did a video on this maybe last year sometime. And uh, I recently got another bag um, a couple of days ago, actually. So um, a little bit, I guess a little backstory or a little bit of context behind this. Um, I am a big, big tech bag guy, right? Like um, I like my bags to be very functional, but also uh, look great and, and be somewhat stylish, right? Um, I, I like... Um, you know, because I, I carry my bags with me wherever I go. Like, I always have my, my tech bag of choice with me wherever I travel. Whether it's to the grocery store, a gas station, near, far, it's always in the car with me. So it has to look, you know, nice. So my, uh, I guess, source of bags um, is SF Bags or Waterfield Designs, right? They make some great, great bags. Been carrying Waterfield Designs bags for, whoo. Well, maybe the past four years, three, four years, maybe, um, have a number of their bags. I think I bought, uh, let's see, I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I have eleven. I purchased eleven bags from them. Um, yeah, I, if you go on their site uh, and you can tell how you know how much the those bags cost, I spent a lot of money with them. However, the bags are worth it. Uh, the reason why I bought so many bags is, you know, I changed my mind a lot and uh, about things. And then, be honest with you, um, the things I carry with me every day used to change a lot. Not so much anymore. But the reason for this latest purchase is I used to carry, I had the original Outback Solo, right? Well, not the original. I had an Outback Solo bag, uh, the black one. I think I've showed it to you guys before. A black one with the chocolate leather strap um, before. Uh, chocolate leather strap, you know, prior to, you know, me getting my iPad Pro uh, with the Magic Keyboard case, right? Worked great, loved it, right? However, with the Magic Keyboard, it it made the bag not work quite, quite as well because the Magic Keyboard adds a little size to your uh, iPad, and it didn't fit in there quite as well. Hence, the new bag that I bought, which is the Outback Solo, uh, for the 12.9 inch with the Magic Keyboard case. Um, a great thing about Waterfield is they will let you select, they, they'll make the bag based on what you tell, what kind of device you tell them should be in the bag, right? So that's uh, uh, one of the many, many great things about it. But I've rambled enough. Let me go ahead and show you guys this bag so uh, you can see how cool it is. Action. So this is my new Outback Solo. And if you have, if you have the Outback Solo bag and uh, that you've had over the past, maybe before the past year or so, or before the Magic Keyboard came out, at least, you're wondering immediately what's the difference. Well, and I, I actually should have brought my other bag out here, but I didn't feel like digging it out. But the main difference is, especially if you select the that you have an iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard, is that the bag is going to be taller now right before let's see if i can't before what you used to do is uh when you put the when you put the the ipad in there with the magic keyboard case on it in the shorter version i think it would come down to about right here right the, the lip was like right here and so the keyboard itself would stick up a little bit it would still the bag would still close but you had that little part that wasn't all the way down in the bag and it just made things much more snug, right? Well, this is a little bit taller bag, accommodating the added uh, size of your iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard, which is awesome. And with the additional, um, I guess, height on the bag, you also get additional space. But let me back up, let me rewind. Let me go ahead and start at the beginning and just so you guys can admire how well this thing is put together, right? So you have your leather flap, which, I mean, it is, is premium leather. It looks great. It, um, you know, is, it has a little magnetic 
fastener here. There's a magnetic part there. Really easy to close, just snaps in place. Voila. Right. Well, hopefully this was at least informative or um, help you guys, you know, decide either, either way if you were on the fence about buying this bag or buying a bag in general um, for your tech stuff, right? Um, I, I'm a personal, personally a big fan of Waterfield Designs. No, they have not sponsored this video or sent me any free merchandise. However, uh, Waterfield, uh, if you guys want to do so, I would not be upset. <laughs> um, but they, they definitely make great, great bags, great, great pro products. Uh, very functional, very sturdy, uh, very stylish. Uh, my favorite tech bag company, um, really, out of all of them, right? Um, some of the bags can get pricey, but I do think it's it, I do think they're worth it. I think that um, it's definitely um, depending on the meeting you're walking into, definitely a statement piece. Uh, when I have uh, in the past, when I've had meetings where you know I'm meeting with a lot of um, senior level senior level leadership, you know I have a messenger bag, all other messenger bag from them that I will use with my laptop, and it just makes a statement, right? So um, I, I definitely think uh, you should check their site out, look at the bag, see if there's something for you. And um, that's really it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you're having a great day. Hopefully you're out there being safe. Uh, hopefully you're trying to be a better person every day and make the community around you better. Um, with that, thanks for tuning into the video. Please mesh that like button if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the channel. Um, and I'm out.